Welcome back to another episode on Diamonds from the Rough. Today, this is my diamond. I love a good Lane Cedar chest. Definitely a Lane. It says so right there, but it also has that locking mechanism. You have to push the lock. And this one even has the shelf inside. I'm excited about that. So, of course, I will have to deactivate and make sure that this lock does not function anymore. Simple as taking the locking mechanism off and taking out the important parts that make it work because you don't want anybody getting stuck inside here. But this is in beautiful shape on the inside, which is kind of ugly on the outside. You know, a diamond in the rough. Let's see what I do with it. First, let's get to know our dates. 051576. That's the date that this trunk was made, and I paid $175 for it. Ah, no, I didn't. I paid 40% off. Now I'm cleaning it with just a little bit of a TSP cleaner and a good rinse, and removing the hardware. I didn't like any of this hardware, and I wasn't planning on using it, and it also wasn't even functional. I love removing these little plaques that were on there for absolutely no reason other than decorative but they did absolutely nothing to enhance the beauty. This thing has been through the ringer, all kinds of wear and tear all along the top and the bottom. Now I'm using my carbide scraper to get that first coat off, which is a kind of a wax varnish, and then I got down into the stain. This is fun, but sanding is unfortunately much, much faster. Just not nearly as satisfying. I wrote on it with a pencil to make sure I knew how much I was grinding down when I was sanding, and then also filled in all the little dents and nicks from where I removed those plaques. Just a light wood fill works really well for this, and these holes had absolutely no purpose, so I filled those as well. Using a light wood fill makes this a really easy uh, substance to sand back, and using a dust extractor and a sander made this uh, get finished in pretty short order. This apron was made of pressed wood with a little bit of a veneer, and I didn't care for um, how structurally sound it was not, so we actually ripped out a little part in the back and put in a solid 2x4 to make it have a fully supportive base that we could screw legs into. That launched across the room. I got the opportunity to use some cool new power tools at least and also learned how to problem solve and reinforce so that we could take these legs that I scrounged off of a nightstand I didn't want and turn them into the perfect leg for this trunk. By cutting out and nailing and screwing and gluing in a little support block, we had enough um, built up so that we could put those legs directly into solid wood. I hate to say it, but I did not get any footage of me painting this piece. I did use a paper from Whimsy Kell Papers. I cleaned the inside and waxed it and then used a dark stain on the top, painted the paper all the way around, and this puppy sold uh, before I even got it really posted. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos in the future. Thanks!